Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing your July predictions. So we're going to be doing your love life, career and general. So we have three groups here. Please choose your group now. We have group number one, we have group number two and we have group number three. So please choose your group now and as usual all my rates are down below if you'd like a private reading. So let's get started and if you would like to know about my personal rates and all that is down below along with my instagram as well um, if you'd like to check out my instagram or you want to give me a dm then you can message me for email or you can message me through instagram so let's get started with your july predictions let's go start off with group number one hello group number one thank you so much for uh, clicking on this video today we're going to be doing your july predictions so you got the card of express and you also got the card of dioptas and it's so funny that these two are literally the same color i'm not even shocked i'm not even surprised i shuffled these really well as you could see at the start of the video i shuffled these really really well um, so the fact that they're both blue is amazing. This is to do with your heart and your throat and all to do with expression and creativity and releasing your heart chakra. So they guided me towards doing a general reading first and then we're going to start into love and career afterwards. So we're going to start off with just general. What's going to go on in July for you? What can we expect? Things like that. Okay, I literally just checked that I had all my nails on today because sometimes I start filming and I forget to put my nails on. So just checking, I was like, hmm. So that's probably what you guys are doing. A lot of checking, a lot of fixing, a lot of adjusting. Um, for some of you guys, I will say possibly some of you guys may be suffering with a bit of OCD at the moment. Um, if not, it might just be you guys are kind of overthinking a lot, which I totally get because I'm in that space as well. Um, so honestly, I, I, I get it. Okay, so my microphone's on, my nails are on, good, we're all good. Okay, so let's start with diet test then. So we've got Express, so we're going to start with her as well, but we're going to have a look and see what this crystal represents. So on the, on the back of the card, and it says on the front of the card, compassion and growth. So on the back of the card, it says... Dioptas is associated with the astrological sign of Taurus and the planet Venus. It also says that its Greek name, Dia, means through and optime, meaning to see. According to ancient lore, Dioptas would strengthen the sight of those who've gazed upon it. Equality shares with the emerald. So Dioptas embodies compassion and forgiveness. It assists in quelling. I, I don't know. Kelling, <laughs> it's like Q-U-E-L-L-I-N-G. Okay, negative and destructive thought patterns while encouraging positive shifts in perspective. Use diet tasks to overcome emotional struggles and stimulate renewal. So my legs are sticking to the chair. Okay, so what I feel for you guys is there's definitely this shift in your beliefs around love, relationships, who you're in relationship to, and kind of like what they're providing you, how you feel about them, how it affects you in your love life. It's really about like your stability overall. So your stability in your romantic life, your stability in your financial life, your stability in how you see yourself is gonna be really big in July. It's gonna be about basically getting your ducks in a row, like one thing after another. And what I see is you're getting a lot of courage around your heart chakra. And your heart chakra is a really big one. Like it is the main center of your chakras it's right in the middle and what it rules is your intuition it rules your sense of self-worth self-love um, it rules this sense of being able to be vulnerable I actually see mid-July end of July I do see a partnership forming not exactly like start okay not like actually getting into a relationship but I see you connecting with another person and an environment I see this sense of like two things like coming together um, like locking into place. It's almost like putting on a t-shirt. That's what they're showing me. Like it's just putting it on and it feels easy. It doesn't feel like you're having to think about it too much. It feels pretty nice. So what I feel is it's going to be very, very easy for you to connect to this environment that you're going to be going into. If you are starting anything new, which I think a lot of us are in July, you're going to, it's going to be easy. What I want you to look for is what can you expect to enjoy out of this situation rather than what you can avoid or fear, because what they're telling me is to focus more on the Taurian element of joy and of um, 
just like blessings they're focused on smells touch taste that sort of thing like they're kind of coming away from fear Taurus is not a fearful sign I don't see Taurus as a fearful sign if it gets fearful it can get very closed but I don't see that at all I see for you July is going to be an explorative month I'm hearing no you won't know exactly what you're doing no you won't know exactly what the end goal is but what I see is it's like it's going to be a soft gentle heartfelt energy very much like flowers there's so many flowers it's like flowers okay I actually you know they do have you know herbal and health properties because some people say oh flowers don't do anything they do they're amazing but if you didn't know that they did that yes they're just like a thing to look at the thing is is you are allowed to have joy and you're allowed to have things that make you feel beautiful and pretty like I'm not gonna lie like it took a lot of my energy to come on camera today and it's not I didn't want to okay my guides are like you're lying part of me wanted to come on here but part of me didn't and it's taken me a lot of courage to come onto camera because I'm going for a lot and the I like was I, I kind of felt scared of putting these butterflies on my hair and then I thought no do you know what I'm going to feel pretty today I'm going to accessorize and express myself because I can why the fuck would I not want to do that so that's the kind of energy it's kind of like you want to just try things without judging yourself I, I'm feeling like you have your old life which is resistance and fear and scarcity and uh just kind of this lack mentality versus what you're actually going to gain in July I feel like like your old life is just being cleared away um, and it feels very like deserted there's nothing of nurturing it's kind of like toxic soil or you're trying to get a flower to grow on concrete rather than soil it's like it's not going to work so that's kind of what I feel is going on for you and what I love about this is you are do you know what do you know what I don't actually think quelling is a word I think it actually meant to say dwelling it assists, I don't know, I don't know if it is or not, but it says it assists in, I'm going to say dwelling, in dwelling, it assists in dwelling negative and destructive thought patterns, and that's why I feel for you, yeah, I think you're just shifting away from that, by the end of this month, in July, August, the middle of August, you'll know exactly what you're doing, and what's going to be really interesting, I see you're being taller, like you're manifesting yourself as much taller, so your energy feels much more freer, at this moment it feels very restrictive, the middle of August, everything's going to feel a lot more easier, it's going to feel like yeah it's gonna feel so much easier okay so we then have express and we have a heart right in the middle and the fact that this is Taurus and Venus is amazing so what I see is you're at the heart of everything your energy is very 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 magnetic it's like you naturally will attract these people who love you and it may feel a bit like deserted right now but honestly you are growing into the person you're meant to be and it's coming at such an immense immense rate that you need to bring in self-love practices EFT meditation talking to a friend a therapist you need to get it out because there's part of you that is really struggling to integrate all this new stuff um, and I'm also seeing luxury stuff like Taurus is luxury it's what can I gain from this and I think for you is it's like you've been around a lot of negative naysayers and these people aren't your friends they're not family they're not your friends they, these people act like they are like but they're not like people who are your family and are your friends you'll feel safe with them and it might be scary at first because you might not know what safety feels like but essentially you're working on your heart chakra your throat you're working on growing you're learning to open up your heart chakra more where you feel safe enough to move forward it's not even your heart chakra where you know you're in a relationship or whatever not I see that too but I what I see is it's like if your heart chakra is open and you feel good you are more likely to manifest more but what I see is all the stuff you've been going through has been really hard on you but it's not going to be like that forever like this stuff is going to pass and you are going to feel a lot it's going to feel a lot easier um yeah there isn't really any other way I could I could express this but it feels easy it feels yeah just easy I just keep hearing easy 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 and a lot of you guys are going on a train because I'm hearing like this like I'm hearing easy 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 like it's like a train I'm gonna pull you a couple more cards oh my guys I don't make this stuff up look at this card easy boom boom I'm not even gonna look at the card. Happiness. Oh, no, I'm making it like a game now. <laughs> okay, we have divine. It's like, oh, okay, so we have intuition, creative, that's perfect. It's not, okay, this is like really going against your 
beliefs of what you've been taught, but it's not real beliefs. It's kind of like, it's manipulation. Manipulation isn't beliefs. Um, you've been manipulated to be in fear of things that you actually are, it's basic needs. Basic needs being love, um, expression, being feel, being able to feel safe. You're, you're basically, your basic needs, like expressing your intuition, being creative, these are all gonna be really big themes of July. And they're saying be more specific. And they're saying you don't eat any other cards. So for some of you guys, you're starting a creative project. For others of you, I see children, but you don't actually have to have a child or be even around kids. You could be, but for a lot of you, it's gonna be, I feel safe in my inner child. Do you know what? This is about you cracking open. I think this is like literally, however old you are, so you're 20, this is 20 years in the making. So you're 30, this is 30 years in the making. This month is gonna show you like, it's going to be the egg cracking. You've been harvesting for a long time. And the thing is, is when you're in a very manipulative environment, you don't always know that you're being trapped. It's kind of like that thing about a lobster being boiled. So it doesn't know it's being boiled alive because it's like being slowly, the heat is being slowly turned up. You're done with the heat. You're done with the manipulation. So what I see is an egg cracking and it's like, you're free. You're done. It's the scary part between being in the egg versus being outside of the egg. That's what's happening. Um, that's why it's so scary. Most of the year is gonna, gonna be you out of the egg. What I see is it's, it's feelings of being f of seen, being a, f a fear of being seen, a fear of trusting yourself. And you know what? If you guys are looking for a partner and you're going through some really intense changes and you are so ready, I literally see you being with someone. Like I literally see you being with somebody. I'm sorry I'm being so forward, but this is like really big for you. This is huge um, because you deserve it. And people are going to see how amazing you are. And they're going to be tender and they're going to be kind to you as well. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to love. I want to do love next. Normally I do career, but I really want to do love. <clears throat> okay, let's get some cards. Let's get my legs off this sticky chair. <laughs> okay. Oh, I stretched my back out. All right. Hmm. <sighs> You're leaving old relationships, especially to do with parents. Religious beliefs as well, especially if your religious beliefs were tied. If, you're, if your parents were heavily religious, you are letting go of that too. Sorry guys, I'm really fiddling in this reading because I'm not used to being on camera. Um, yeah, like you are, you're letting go of fear. And do you know what's really interesting is, uh, your self-worth has been tied to how your family have seen you. And if their self-worth is a religious belief, um, is a body image belief, um, is a uh, fear of like being imperfect, that's gonna be onto you and that's the belief you're letting go. There's one singular belief, a heavy, thick belief that you're letting go of. And once you've let this go, whether it be through dancing, through crying, through EFT, whatever it is, once you've let that go, literally, your life will be different. And it's scary because you have never been into this life before. It's basically like the Aquarius age on speed. That's why it's been so hard for you because the Aquarius age is not a joke. Like this is some intense stuff, especially for the feminine. So and I'm not just saying this is for women, this is for my men too, but for women, we are really coming into our power and men are very much waking up to their feminine energy too. So it's kind of scary. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because your feminine energy is heavily tied to your love life. It's heavily tied to how you nurture yourself, how others nurture you, and what you accept from people. This is about receiving, all about the receiving. That's what the feminine energy is. It's receiving, creating, regurgitating. That's what it is. All right. This is great. This is great. We've got the world. Yes, I love this. This is so fucking fabulous. Someone, you're holding the sword now. Um, we have this thing about you. Yes, okay. You will be in the dark for a little bit of the first couple of weeks. Um, you won't actually know what's going on. There's some really big changes happening I can't even express. And normally when I do a monthly prediction, I don't ever say this, but normally when I do a monthly prediction, because I don't normally do them, you know shit's gonna change because I don't do a monthly reading every month. I only do it when I really feel like some things are changing. There are major, major, major changes. Right. You are being pushed to get outside your comfort zone because you've kind of, you've been in this well, like this heavy well of crap. Like people have not been filling up your cup and 
the universe and your guides they've they've had enough of it they're like why are you putting up with this so in terms of your love life if you are ready for a partnership if your soul is ready because you know our souls are all on different timelines if your soul is ready for a relationship i see that happening and do you know what i feel as i tuned into this partner this new person i felt my energy just calm down this person is very earthy they're fixed as well they could be a leo or a taurus maybe a little bit Aries, but I feel also they've got a bit of Virgo in there, a bit of Pisces, a mm, little bit of Capricorn. So they're very earthy, they're very good at communicating. This person, it's really hard to explain because you've never actually been around this type of people where they're, they're so comfortable to you. Sorry guys, I get when I get, in, when I get into my intuition, my nose always itches. Um, yeah, like the witch, where they're like, do that with their nose. Okay, let's see. Hmm. You're fighting away from it. You're fighting away from this person. <laughs> you have to travel. If you're really wanting to travel this month, you need to do it. Because they're saying like, the reason why you don't want to travel is because you feel like traveling is not worth it. It's like, why do I have to travel for things to change? I don't know. That's just what they're telling me. <laughs> um, so what I feel though, is we have, okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, sword card the sun sword card and then you have the seven of wands in reverse king of wands so you've got this like okay big abundance fear big abundance fear big abundance fear it's like it's like literally you having to go through chunks every week is going to be so different for you this month it's going to be so different like rapid rapid change so this person is very important this person is somebody who is going to make a massive impact on your life they are giving me they're showing me a male um, for those of you who are interested in male they're just showing me a male it's just an image it doesn't matter on the gender they're just showing me this male and he's giving me a ticket and they're showing me this like permission slip to have your new life this person's part of this new life what I see is if you are wanting a partnership, this will be a new person coming in. If you don't want partnership or you're not ready, I don't know when you're ready, the universe only knows when you're ready, um, then it will be, it possibly, I do see a new love forming, if not by January, um, for those of you who chose this group. Of course, you've got to be ready. I am not God. <laughs> If you're ready, I see it. I, I do see someone coming in very quickly. You'll know if this is the right person. They they kind of remind me of like, okay, they show me a person, they have like a skull face. So they're showing me they're hearing after the death process, you will meet me. That's what I'm hearing. So after you've gone through massive shedding, almost like a scorpionic type thing, that's when you're gonna meet your person. Let's get some more cards on this, on this person, this situation. If you are going through a struggle, oh, hello, yay. If you're going through a struggle, um, in terms of love, relationships, things like that, if you're not single, or if you're just going through it, they are telling me that you are being pushed away from this person. If you're going through, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be honest, we are going through massive fears right now. You are being pushed to divorce someone, you're being pushed to break up with somebody, and you know this person, that, you know who I'm talking about, because otherwise you wouldn't be thinking of them right now. If you're thinking, if you're worrying about it, let's see. Hmm. let's get another one empathy humor okay what i feel is i'm hearing what do you want because if you're okay if you're in trauma you can't always decide what you want all the time if you are tied to somebody through trauma it's harder to get away from them but if you really want to change if you're so miserable like i definitely see you doing something to shift your energy so you can get out of the situation whether it be therapy or some type of release um, I'm hearing if you would like a permission slip to go for it, I'm giving you full permission to go for it. Even if it's scary, like you do need to end this connection if it's not good for you, because as it, we're going through such an intense process of releasing, you can't bring this person with you if they're not for you. Um, the right people will stick around. So if you're scared, oh my God, like, are oh, they gonna leave me? No, no, they're not gonna leave you if they're the right person, <laughs> okay? That's what I just wanted to tell you guys, okay? Because love is gonna be for those of you in a relationship and single. I'm hearing they accept me, they accept me, they accept me, and I would touch my heart, but I've got a microphone. Um, yeah, they, they, they accept me, they accept me, they accept me. This is the person that you're gonna be marrying. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are gonna have marriage if this is somebody, oh my God, this is so nice. 
nice. This is so nice. Okay, a lot of people haven't been able to see your feminine side, especially those of you who are women who've been through abusive relationships. You guys, you're gonna get what you want. You're gonna get what you deserve. And we got the three of swords in the reverse. That's so, that's a really attractive card. Cause that's saying like, I'm done. Snip, 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 I'm done. Okay, so to confirm this king of wands, we have the chariot, the empress and the page of swords. I'm hearing the page is turning, like literally things are just cracking, turning, changing, shifting, like it's it's very active, a lot of active spiritual um, energy right now. Okay, so I see this person being brand new. I do definitely feel if you are ready for a relationship, this will be a relationship. This will be someone that you are wanting to be around and you're really comfortable with them and they definitely are an earth sign. I've got a really strong feeling like they're such a strong earth sign. There's somebody who's really grounded, they really know themselves, they have a lot of gifts, you know, things like that. Let's see what else. We have the Jupiter card and we also have the moon. This person's gonna bring so much joy to you and they're gonna allow you to express your feelings as well. They're not gonna block you off from feeling things. Okay, so any solar eclipse will bring this person in. Any solar eclipse will upgrade your love life. So every time you go for a solar eclipse from now on in the future, it's all about your heart chakra, getting you open, cracking you open. Your solar eclipse is all about your sun sign. It's all about how people see you being available, things like that. And a lot of you guys are gonna be water signs as well. I see a water sign and an earth sign coming together. And this person just gives you the boost that you need. Okay, they're telling me, also this person's actually giving me a message, for those of you who are single, of course. For those of you, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna literally tell you what they're telling me. They're saying they need to upgrade to meet me. And what that means is whatever personality traits, whatever this person's giving you, they are showing you that that's the person you need to be. So say if you're wanting a Taurus, Taurus is represents stability. So you're most likely working on stability, which is the home, money, finances. If you're wanting an Aries, you'll most likely go through this stage of your body image, the way you express yourself, being seen more, being a leader. That's So whatever you're going through, whatever the themes are, you could be meeting those types of people, but you are literally ready for this. And I love the green, I love the red. I'm really getting connected to all the colors here. I love this so much. Let me get one more card about your love life and then we'll move on to career. <laughs> We've got another green one, yay! Which is the heart chakra. We have loosen your grip and I feel like I wanna swear for this card. Loosen your effing grip. I love that, that's so amazing. That's just, yeah, that's that's perfect. Can we get a couple? I wanna get a couple more. I get a couple more. I just love talking about love. I love it. Love, 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 love. This one, go deeper. Practice patience. Let's get one more. Mm, this is about you coming into your persona, not anyone else's, especially if you've got Libra, Pisces, um, Gemini traits. So those of you who are quite sensitive to other people's emotions and other people's views of you, and you've kind of taken on them as your own, you are shedding everyone else's views of you. So your personality, you don't actually know what your personality is a lot of the time, especially if you have those placements. So you're really learning to like not lean on everyone for your personality and your worth and your confidence. That's why life is so hard right now because you're not, you can't hide anymore. You can't hide from yourself. That's why it's so hard. And then we have to be kind to yourself in the reverse. A lot of you guys are just needing to, to get really comfortable with loving yourself and you will find your groundedness. You will get grounded. You will get more comfortable. It just literally is a process. And some of you guys, your health is getting better as well. I don't like to talk about health on this channel, but it is getting better. I really feel that actually. Um, for a lot of you guys, you're not aching anymore. It's a sense of like not aching. And I, I do want to recommend you colloidal silver. I don't normally recommend stuff in my in my readings, but I'm really picking up on colloidal silver. So if any of you guys are being drawn to try something new, of course, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even suggest consulting your doctor on colloidal silver, but I, you know, just have a look into it. I would definitely give it a go because it's, it's, it's really good. It's very antibacterial. It can be really good for clearing, cleansing, but just, you know, be very careful, look it up. Uh, possibly consult a doctor if you feel drawn to do that. Um, right, so career, let's have a look and see. I feel like I wanna try one of these tarot. So we're gonna do the beginner's tarot from Saint Soleil. I love this deck, it's one of my favorites. It's so pretty. Okay, my neck is really hurting. Yeah, I see a man, he's 
definitely a strong man in front of me right now. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Right, so I don't see career happening this month. I'm sorry. I don't see it happening only because um, the opportunity hasn't formed fully yet. That's just what I see. I'm sorry, it's going to be a bit slow. Some of you guys, Six of Cups. You're, you're meant to do a lot of inner child healing around your worth. So whatever you're being... Okay, when it comes to creativity and when it comes to being out in the world, being out in the world for this month, I feel more to do with home, family, um, relationships, more like emotional stuff. For physical stuff, is not really this month. I think it's more for September and August and September. What I do see though, we have the lovers. So what I see is you got to treat your you got to treat your love your you've got to treat your career like it's your love life. You're going to be doing it a lot. It's going to be your lifestyle. You need to okay, if you're in a hurry to get a job and there's and you're looking for jobs and you're applying, I do see a job coming up for temporarily that you can do temporarily. Only temporarily because literally sometimes it is just one step at a time to try new things. You can't always just go full hog. Um, what I see is basically you're working on your sense of self-worth and you don't want to make, essentially I'm only saying this because I don't want you to, to make too many choices where you're kind of going off your path, which you, you can't go off your path, this is just what they're showing me. They're saying this is a hack, if you want to manifest your career you don't have to keep searching and searching and searching for jobs. I genuinely feel for a lot of you guys, if you are wanting a new career, it will be, you'll just be ready when you're ready unless you actually have to get a career right now and you have to get a job because money of course you know and we have to rush sometimes i do just see you getting a job and you're enjoying it you're not fully loving it but i do see you fully loving it in uh august september so it might not be this month that's the right month for you to like get the career of your dreams but if you already have the career of your dreams i do see opportunities that are more to do with community does that make sense i'm trying to like include everyone in this like it's kind of hard um Okay, so the main thing that you're working on this month as well is self-limiting beliefs, impatience and lacking ideas. A lot of you guys are really lacking ideas. Um, how you can shift this, I'm seeing within six weeks your ideas are going to start to come to fruition or six days from watching this video. What I see is number six is really strong for you guys. Number six is all about change and creativity and all that beautiful stuff. Um, I just see Pisces as well. So if a lot of you guys are wanting to do a career to do with animals, psychic abilities, health in the more holistic way, yes, they're saying go for it. You can start your career already if you want to, but if you don't, then that's totally fine. You can literally just sit and wait. If you have the money to kind of like use before you get the job that you really want, I would say just wait, if you can wait. And that's for all of you guys. If you're if you're kind of wondering what you wanna be doing, um, honestly, I literally feel like waiting as long as possible because you wanna be happy, like you do. And if you don't have to do anything right now, you don't have to do anything. Like that's just what they're telling me. They're also saying like you're not doing anything wrong and they're also saying that you don't have to do everything perfectly. Per perfection isn't real. Like they're saying this perfection that you have that's in a box that you're boxing everything up, it's not real. It's a way of control, yes, and it can make you feel a temporary sense of control, but this isn't real. This will not guarantee you a relationship. This will not guarantee you a career. It won't guarantee your happiness. It will keep you trapped. And you've been trapped in that for a long time and they're pulling you out of it. This is the fear that's coming up. It's this fear of like, oh my God, I can be creative. Crap, like that means I've got to be in the flow and I've got to be expressive and I've got to be seen more. Yes, but it's also very, very good. It's just, it's just scary, okay? So let's get you one more card, just a general card for you guys. Um, yeah, there's a lot of mystery this month, which I kind of hate. <laughs> I hate it, but... It's, it's also really, yeah, I can't even express to you right now how I'm feeling. I think a lot of us are going through really similar stuff. Okay, let's go. I'm hearing cancer energy. I know it's cancer season, but I'm seeing like a lot of cancerian um, pop stars like Ariana Grande and I love Tom Mish. He's my favourite. So maybe listen to those people. And I'm seeing you getting back into your childhood. That will help you to kind of shift any stuff that's going through, that's kind of um, going on. So anything to do with like 
when you were born so what music was around when you were born what music did you really like I'm hearing like listening to that will help you get back into this sense of safety because the thing is if you're shedding a lot you also need to fill up your cup as well and I'm seeing you eating a lot of sugar which I'm not even I you do what you need to do girl like if that's something you're really drawn to just do it like you got to make yourself as comfortable as possible as long as you're not hurting yourself okay so the last card we have is guidance and transformation Iceland Iceland spa so this is ah it's to do with the astrological signs of Aquarius and Cancer Iceland spa is a meditative stone that clears the mind and increases concentration and motivation it initiates transformation transmuting negative energy to release it and into the earth where it is neutralized when faced with indecision Iceland spa provides guidance and clarity for a positive outcome and I did pull out this beautiful quartz I love this baby like right now it's just i'm vibing and it's very similar i mean it's obviously not the same crystal this is clear quartz and this is ice and spa but clear quartz is gonna be really good for you anything from selenite clear quartz um oscillite i don't know if that's a crystal and what's the other one i can hear oh what is that oh it's the one i really really like i can't off the top of my head i've literally lost it i don't know Oh, calcite, calcite, calcite's a really good one as well. You can see the, the happiness I just had. Okay, well, last thing I'm hearing is just get loads of candles and have a meditative time. Um, I see you creating a group of community and they're all sitting in a circle as well. That's coming as well. Yay, okay, so that's your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, if you'd like to check out my rates or my crystal shop, my crystal shop actually isn't open right now, but if it, I magically is open I do have a crystal shop um if you would like to check out my uh, rates for my private readings which is what I meant to say then have a look down below if you would like to check them out that is it I love you guys and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading oh I just got like such witchy vibes from this group like just saw a woman going hee 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 like or more evil like hee hee like I saw like bewitched and also the one Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I saw Buffy, like a lot of like early 2000s, 90s kind of shows, I know Bewitched is obviously older than that, but there's like a lot of like light-hearted TV shows they want you to watch, just because it gives you that sense of like security and safety, especially for my women, I feel like you guys need a bit more oomph for my men i think you guys are going through it but honestly you don't need that i think you guys need more if you're a guy and you're more wanting to come more like just comfortable in your body i see you guys more exercising for those of you who are women i see you just watching tv shows and being cozy as fuck like that's what i see yeah that's what you need yeah that's just what they're telling me they're saying boom boom men over here women over here you both guys got stuff going on all right so you guys got the card of sacred i love this and i love that both of these are pretty much the same color we've got the orange of the sacred and we got the gold of the tiger's eye this is exactly the same chakra sacral sacral solar solar both the same so what i see is this is sense of confidence that you guys are really coming into you're being pushed to go to the go to the front you most likely are going to start something whether it's going to be opening your own shop which is quite a big deal um you're going to be publishing a book or you're going to be um something about you know something's being shoved to the forefront so you could start a podcast you could start a youtube channel you could start a anything you could start selling stuff on etsy there's a sense of like your solar plexus and your sacral are healed really really good in um july and by the middle of the month to the end you're going to be feeling really really good okay so what i see is you're going to have sorry guys i get really itchy nose my channel when i'm doing just the cards like straight down you can't see how much i'm itching my nose i get a really itchy nose when my channel <clears throat> like the witch when they move they move the nose like that okay so we have confidence and motivation tiger's eyes so let's see what this is about okay so it says tiger's eye carries the power of the sun stimulating qualities of self-confidence motivation intelligence and daring it ushers in spiritual awakening and stirs thought into positive action what i saw is a little boy and he's climbing a tree that's just what i saw um i just feel like 
he represents this sense of light activities. Definitely moving your body a lot. That's a real big thing they want you to do. They really want you to dance it out. They want you to sing it out. They want you to talk it out. They want you to uh, run it out. They want you to just get it out. So whether it be even moving just your arms, moving your shoulders, they want you to shake as well. There's a lot of stuck um, expression and tension that hasn't been able to be honored. So that, that they want you to tell, they want to tell you that. And they also, I also see you coming um, not so much coming more into your spirituality or coming more into religion. I feel like a wave and it's going to come back out. So I see you really heavily going into meditation and then not really meditating. Really heavy prospect praying and then coming back out and not praying as much. This is because you are just being drawn to connect more to your intuition. Sorry guys, my, my legs stick to the table. <laughs> stick to the chair, I mean. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> okay, right. So sacred is really important. The sacred card is showing me that your energy is very sacred. This month is very sacred for you because you're going through such a sponta spontaneous time. Like this is Leo before Leo season even starts. Like this is like Leo season in Cancer season. It's very strange. I know Leo is going through, is it in Venus? I'm not too sure. Um, I get very confused with all the different uh, like transits all the time. Like I can go through, I can understand some of it, some of it's so I'm like, oh my God, too much info. But yeah, I do see you, um, I see your hair going, like being let down. I see your hair being more natural. Something a lot to do with the hair. So it could be to do with your head as well. You're kind of overthinking a lot. Um, but there's this sense of like not being trapped. And I see like a collar around your neck so, and then you're ripping it off. So there's definitely this sense around a lot of energy around the head and the uh, neck and the throat. Um, you're clearing a lot of that stuff as well, which is really good, especially to do with how you, um, to do with how you manifest as well you could be somebody who's always done stuff with manifestation and you're like oh it never happens it never works they're saying well, we'll stop doing it like if you get told like you have to do things a certain way like even with my with my readings that I'm doing you know I'm not here to tell you what to do I'm just here to guide you like I always say I give you the seed you do what you want with it you want to plant it you want to throw it away whatever but I'm giving you the seed and you do what you want with it like that is how life should be lived and especially when it comes to like the way we were parented and the way we were um the people we've been around we get very heavily influenced we are community beings and as much as we want to not admit it we are so that's the reason why a lot of us are feeling very disconnected very lonely and that's why a lot of us are feeling very confused because we're kind of like um where's my community you know so for a lot of us that's why we're shedding old people because even though it doesn't make sense right now it will make sense probably in the next six months you'll be like oh yeah and you'll feel a lot better. You won't realize that you're feeling a lot better because you'll be like, oh my God, I haven't had conflict for like six months. That's so strange. But it's because you've just let go of these people that create all this conflict. There's definitely an Aries in your life that just doesn't stop creating conflict. And this person, you need to like really tell them what's going on. They most likely won't listen because <laughs> if they're creating conflict, then they probably won't listen and don't really care. But if they do care, you'll know that this person wants to change. People only change if they decide that they want to. And if there's somebody in your life that just doesn't want to change, just doesn't really care, you got to let it go. Um, but if somebody, if you do want to express how you feel to this person, definitely do that. They don't have to be an Aries, but they exhibit this Aries energy that's very manipulative. They don't, some people don't mean to do it, but you'll know who I'm talking about. You'll be like, oh, it's that woman from work or it's my, one of my parents or it's one of my, it's, like, it's my partner or something like that it'll be highlighted more this month because there's a sense of like aggressive energy just it can't be in your life anymore because it's, it's shrinking you especially if you're very sensitive it will shrink you it won't let you express yourself um, and I'm seeing a beagle that's so random I'm seeing a beagle dog and I'm hearing like the way they howl I don't like the way they howl or they bark it kind of annoys me <laughs> I love all animals but your girl has you know I, I have opinions and their bark really pisses me off something about you may even have a dog around you that just doesn't stop barking or it could be somebody that just won't stop coming at you like literally like an irritating dog bark 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 it's like kind of like that it's like this person just won't shut up and they don't have a filter and they don't have boundaries there's somebody in your life like that and they need to just be cut off it doesn't have to be this month but i'm just saying now like they, they like spirit knows this person just is not good for you and it is harder it's easier said than done i'm not saying just literally go and do it because we can't always do that but if you're literally feeling like this person is demoralizing you, they're showing me like a lack of trust, they're showing me like they're sprinkling all this crap over you, you're thinking it's fairy dust, but it's actually 
it's actually particles of crap that's what they're showing me it's kind of like this illusion of oh i'm your mother you have to do this i'm your dad you have to do this it's like oh i'm your partner you have to just like no okay and when you're over 18 no one has control over you okay legally like literally you are allowed to run your own life and even if people are treating you badly and you're under 18 girl honestly it's not worth staying around these people if you can help it because you'll either grow with them or you'll grow away from them and honestly a lot of these people just need to fucking go goodbye good residence goodbye 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 I'm also seeing a telephone box and they're showing me Doctor Who. So some of you guys might like Doctor Who, but what I see is like a portal. You're going from like one place to another quite quickly. So you might suddenly move, you might suddenly want to travel, you might suddenly go on holiday and you're like, I want to live here. Something like that. Oh, this card smells so good. I love fresh cards. I love fresh books. Anyone else like that? I love that. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I love this. Solitude. That's really nice. It's like a feather looks like a feather sorry guys this isn't is that oh okay there we go and then we have soften which is really really nice and then we have spacious so there's a lot of changes in your environment that are happening this is why a lot of us are going through a lot of conflicts with our partners with our uh, parents they're saying anything with a p partner parents permission the things like that is a lot of like cutting the ties around who gives up us permission to be ourselves and why should someone give you permission that's what we've, we're heavily like coming away from as well i'm gonna like not rant about it i will and i could but i'm not going to right the yellow and the purple is really standing out to me which is your crown and your sacral and your so sorry your crown and your solar okay they're saying you know what's going on like there's something to do with manipulation that you guys are like oh crap and you've just realized it or you're just like i don't know if i can deal with this anymore take action and start planning out how you can change this whether that be moving away changing your job um having therapy so you no longer have these limiting beliefs about yourself that keep you with this person they're just saying like there's stuff that's being downloaded into you and you're like i can't take this anymore girl you don't have to take this anymore if you're going through a real bad time like i i'm i'm with you i've been through a lot of narcissistic views so i totally get you i'm not going to sugarcoat it like literally they're, they're pushing you and urging you to change something whether that be putting a lock on your door whether that be you know um having a space that's away from your house whether that be exiting a relationship like literally whatever it is you have to do it for your sanity. If something's being pushed, you have to honor it. And as scary as it is, like this is coming from a Scorpio who is literally ruled by transformation, who also doesn't like transformation. It's hard, it's not an easy thing, but this is like really good. Basically, you are being asked to give yourself more space. That's what I'm hearing. I see you, if you can take a trip this month, if you can't, take a trip inwards, like spiritually, to really, give yourself space one thing that really helps you give give you space is solitude like literally being in your in your car well some of you have cars and you just like exit and go into your car oh god i love that <laughs> i love that i don't know why i just said that like oh my god i love that because some of you guys need that space away from the house maybe you have kids and you're just like i can't do this anymore and i'm hearing like stop judging yourself a lot of you guys are really hard on yourself because you think you should be a mom in a certain way you should be a friend in a certain way you should be a partner in a certain way some of you guys are possibly dealing with people who have health issues and you feel like you have to stick around for these people girl you have your own life okay and if someone's being like abusive to you and they don't even realize that's not good enough like, that's not okay these people need to just go and be in the middle of the desert and have a good old think about how they treat you because it's not on and I see this as a tree. I see you're planting trees, kind of like mine. Like I don't know if you can plant trees in Minecraft, but something like I'm getting like Minecraft, Lego, Animal Crossing. Like you're kind of creating your life one step at a time, and this is just confirmation you're doing everything right. Like literally, there's nothing you're doing wrong. Okay, so they want to pull a card for uh, the general message. General message first. Yup, we have the Hierophant in the reverse. This is actually. Oh, in the upright but the only reason it's in the rest is because you don't realize your full potential this is you and this is why things are so scary it's going to get better though it's going to get better let's get you one more card the higher foot needs a break too that's what i'm hearing because you're just stuck you're feeling really really stuck one more please there's going to be unexpected uh help unexpected help 
and ask for help if you need it. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah, here it is. Hi. Okay, I love that. I love it. Okay, let's go. Let's see. I see uh, whatever gender you are. I see the same gender coming in as, as a friend, possibly. Get, you're getting friend help from friends as well. So if you're a woman, I see feminine. Sorry, female people. If there's um, if you're a male, I'm seeing you getting male friends. Like there's something to do with the same gender coming through. Action. Love it. Okay, so what I see in terms of your life right now, one step at a time, little bits, little bit at a time. You can't always go full hog because it can really freak you out. Humans are very sensitive because we're squishy beings. Why would you want to force us into something we're not comfortable with? Uh, no. So we only break under pressure when we're really, really under pressure. We only start changing when things are really, really bad. So that's why things have to get bad because otherwise you, why, you wouldn't shift. If things weren't awful, you wouldn't move a finger. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm just happy in my love life. I'm just semi-happy in my house. I'm like, just about coping in my career. And it's like, girl, why? Because <laughs> you're not ready to move on yet. Okay, so with tender action, you need to be in a space that's away from where you are. If it, even if it's in your car, even if it's going for a walk every day, you need to figure out where you want to go help will come I promise you just it might not come straight away but little by little is uh, first of all it starts with you moving your emotions moving them around so at least you can cope with whatever you've got going on sorry guys oh my shoulders are really going for it okay <sighs> right love life let's go look at love life let's see what's going on there okay all right so something to do my right ear some of you guys dealing with ear stuff I'm hearing like I'm hearing things di differently. I'm hearing more things. Maybe your um, throat chakra is kind of like you're having a glow up <laughs> around your throat chakra. Sorry, I'm just like tiny in my back of my top here. I'm hearing like I'm seeing more, but I'm not exactly, it could be your, your vision is clearing, like the illusion of people around you is clearing. Yeah, I don't, see, okay, this group isn't the group of like a new partner, I don't feel, mm, not really. Not sure about that one, we'll keep that one up there. <sighs> right, this month is more about who, this is going to be really blunt, who is the manipulator and who is the victim? That's kind of what you want to look at. Who is the victim? Who is the one who is stressing you out? Who's the one that is manipulating you that's what you want to look at because once you see it you can't unsee it that's your love life this month i don't see it being like i'm going to get into a relationship if anything i see you ending a contract with somebody endings and fresh beginnings more to do with like i'm seeing like ugh, like a couple more months later um the start of school so like september in England you start school in September I think everywhere don't you I don't know but in England you do and I see in September there's gonna be more shifts in, in love for you guys I'm seeing a whirlwind like picking you up Wee! I'm hearing a person and they're literally picking you up so there might be someone who drives that you manifest if you want to manifest as a new partner okay so some of you guys are tied financially to your person and you can't leave which girl you can leave just you, you've got to take steps to actually figure out what your plan is okay you don't know your plan straight away but if you're in a relationship those who are in a relationship if you are tied to someone you're not actually that tied this is the hard part and this does hurt my heart because I really really relate to being stuck around somebody through finances through manipulation whatever it is you don't owe this person anything okay don't ever feel guilty for leaving a relationship whatever it is I don't care how uh, I'm, not, I'm going to be very, very blunt, I'm saying this in the most kindest way, how ill this person is, how much money this person gives you, whatever it is, if you literally are damaging yourself over and over again, because this person, if they're manipulative, they're going to keep repeating the same cycle, they're not going to change, like literally you'll know if they're going to change, you'll know, it's not your job to stay around for them to fix it, and trust me, this person isn't the right person for you. And this is, I'm only talking to a few of you. If you're like, girl, I'm in a happy relationship, where you stay in, then I'm not talking to you. <laughs> One moment, I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> We're talking about those of you who just aren't happy. And you 
don't feel guilty for staying with somebody. Don't ever feel like you have to stay with somebody because of something. It's kind of like that old thing about people saying, oh, I'm going to stay. Like it's being in a, like an, it's like being in an unhappy marriage because of the kids. Oh, I'm going to stay with my partner because of the kids. Um, why? <laughs> That's so old fashioned. Like literally no. Like you can literally be so, why would you want to show your children that you have to be stuck with somebody to be happy? Because that's going to show them that they have to do that. It's all about how do I want to do this? Okay. What is, what is just about enough comfortable for me? It's not about getting it perfect, my love. It's not about that. Why do you think that? It's about giving yourself permission because sometimes, and I'm going to be very blunt, but very kind, these are excuses to stay with somebody. Okay, if you literally feel like you're not getting anything out of this connection anymore and you are literally being drained of your resources, try new things that solely push you out. You're not going to do it like that if you feel like you can't because sometimes we are connected to people through trauma and it keeps us safe. Okay, so I really, really need to, to tell you that. And for some of you guys, don't be afraid of borrowing money from somewhere, possibly from a friend. I don't enjoy getting it from banks because they have all these like little things in the background that they kind of use like contracts and stuff i would borrow it from a friend if you can or borrow it from somebody else if it's money that you're tied to but whatever it is you're coming out of it you're coming out of this fear and it's, it looks really good okay i feel like i need to clear myself and then we're going to look into singles yeah right so there's definitely something around the crown that i heard for you singles Stop, okay, I'm gonna be really blunt again. This is the blunt group. Stop connecting to somebody you think you have a connection with intuitively. Stop looking for signs that they're the right person. I'm sorry, this is so blunt. I'm sorry, not sorry, because I've come across this so many times with clients and I'm thinking, girl, you'll know if this person's right for you. Of course, it's, it's interesting. If you're talking to somebody and you're kind of feeling the vibe, that's different. This is for those of you who are fantasizing about a celebrity or thinking that you know you haven't even spoken to this person basically and you're thinking they're my love of my life blah 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 they're in a, they're in a relationship they're married they're blah 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 they're going to be my partner they aren't going to be your partner okay if they're in a relationship they're already taken leave it <laughs> put it down okay realize why you keep attracting this type of style of person because basically you're draining yourself of all your energy by thinking about this person constantly wishing there were signs is this person right for me i don't know like if you have to look for signs all the time to figure out if this person's right for you and you haven't had one conversation with this person, stop it, put it down, cut the cord, walk off. You need something else to distract you, okay, girl? Because you are literally, what, oh, why I'm saying this is because your energy is very, very sensitive. And if you are literally giving yourself away energetically, you are draining yourself of your life force and it is not good enough, girl, okay? For those of you who have nothing involved with anyone, I do see you starting off with a lot of inner child work and a lot of relationship stuff to do with your parents and then like cutting that away, seeing why you love the way you do, maybe seeing your style of how you love, whether it's like anxious attached or something like that. And then what I see is also, I do see you going on a couple of dates if you want to this month, but I don't see you being in a like a committed relationship this month if you're completely single and there's no one around. Effectively, they're just saying you need to work on your sense of yourself like you need to get comfortable with being your own authority figure because you tend to put a lot of energy onto other people especially if they're higher up than you higher up they're not higher up they're just you know whether they're your boss your your father figure somebody else it's like this person has no power over you so basically that's what you're learning this month is how to get your needs met through other things, how to get comfortable being in your skin. Girl, if you're not comfortable in your skin, you're just gonna keep attracting narcissists. Boom, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> this is the most blunt group, honestly. My Scorpio, my Scorpio side's really coming out. Like, it has to be said, boom. If you want to have intimate partners this month, whether it just be literally just intimacy, I, I'm actually recommending it more, only because there's a sense of like experimentation here. Do it safely. Do it with choice and realize that you don't have to do things. Okay, we'll say that as well. And also, if it isn't anything to do with anyone, this is to do with your passion. And I feel better about talking about that. This is to do with your passion and it's to do with like, what makes you feel good, okay? I am getting this sense of like, ah, oh, like a light. You know when you jump on a trampoline, it's that sense of when you jump and you're in the air, that's what I see. And you know when you're on a roller coaster and your stomach goes up, that's this energy. That's the feeling you want to look for, whether it's through a hobby, whether it's through dancing, whether it's through 
um, just something creative, like, girl, you've got to push yourself to be a bit more creative this month, just because sometimes this month feels a bit lazy not lazy isn't like it's a bad thing but it's like the energy is very very slow it's it's like it's a kind of like a key in the ignition that just won't effing start that's this month which is why for you guys it's really important to work on your sacral solar and crown because you guys are really needing to connect to that really 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 okay one more card do your love life lunar eclipse a lot of emotional stuff can you get a partnership whilst also avoiding your things and your emotions? Uh, yeah, but it's probably not going to be a comfortable one. I, this, they're telling you like this energy and this, this whatever I'm getting with my guides or the universe, this energy of what they're telling me is like, you need to be with somebody who accepts and loves you for who you are. Sometimes it takes longer because we have to unlearn a lot of trauma. If we have a big bucket of trauma, it will be dumped onto the next person we get with. So it's really important for you to see what's in this trauma bucket and work with it, even though it's scary and it's kind of crap sometimes. It's really important for you to work with it. Like it's really, really, really important for you to work with it because you can't be with someone and also be really unconscious of what's going on with you. Because this person's gonna be receiving the stuff that you're giving out. So if you're giving out stuff and you're just not secure, you're gonna be relying on that person to make you feel good. It's kind of like picking out parts of their personality and inserting them into yourself. What's the point? What's the point? And also, why do you do that? That's what you want to look at. Why do I naturally do that? Why do I naturally put people on a pedestal? A lot of it's from childhood. That's all I'll say. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at career. I'm seeing ocean and I'm seeing oceanic views. I'm seeing a lot of stuff to do with the ocean. A lot of you guys, if you want to do anything to do with the ocean, they're saying, yes, this is the month to go for it um they're saying that you might do the same job as your dad or your mum possibly but i see there's a male figure around your career he's got a really big impact on you could be a boss could be whatever but i will say if you're not getting your needs met or your voice heard it's not a career it's a cage okay some careers yes of course you have to listen to the person above you but honestly you need to be respected okay in every situation you're in if you're not getting respect in any situation you're in cut the ties girl cut the ties i'm also seeing uh this what do they do oh it's like that you know um in wizard of oz i think where they ask for directions and he kind of goes like that i don't know i can't i can't remember what he does but that's what i'm feeling for a lot of you guys your career is kind of like that it's kind of like go this way <laughs> both ways and you're like that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. That's kind of your career this this month. I'm sorry. I know probably not what you want to hear, but it's true. This month is about your tribe. This month is about community. Who do I relate to? What do what do I relate to? And we've got the colour blue and this and the sun. So be near the beach, be near water is going to be so good for you. Might be quite busy because it is the month of July, but they're just saying, girl, you need to get more sun. You need to get more water um yeah they're just saying that's very important for you okay so let's have a look at career okay so career let's see what's going on four of cups someone's offering you something you don't really want it that's fair enough you don't have to have it two of wands right a lot of you guys need to actually move away from your town to get this job only if you want to you don't have to you're not going to miss this career opportunity if you don't but they're saying your career is over there so it might be that you might get drawn to move because of your career if you want to they're saying yes that's a big opportunity it, this month will be like you're picking up and moving you won't actually be doing the career this month you'll be more like shifting this is a shifting month this isn't like a grounded month this is shifting and then we have the nine of cups overflow so what i see is your career is of course heavily tied to your emotional state you don't have to be in a career that makes you miserable i'm hearing you actually don't have to a lot of this group i'm also seeing that you're very tied to media and you're possibly going to be behind the camera more so if you are anything to do with media um, you have your own YouTube channel, you have an Instagram account and you like to take photos. There's something that's going to change around that. You might be changing your Instagram handle, your whole look might be changing. There's a sense of identity around your career. Um, anything else? There's not too much around career for you guys. But the main thing I'm hearing, I actually heard Spain. So some of you guys might want to move to Spain. I'm not sure. There's not too much. The only thing that I see is you're doing everything right. So if you're still stuck in a career you really don't enjoy, it is changing just very slowly. 
which is kind of annoying I know but I think it will change more or less in the next three to four months if you can hold off that long okay anything else let's get a couple more of these I want to get a couple more of these cards if you're thinking about should I stay or should I go well the fact that you're questioning it is probably you should go okay curious yes you are definitely curious about staying or going um I'm gonna be oh this is so cute a little egg and this is love I've not actually used these cards before that's so cute you are literally waiting on your abundance it is on its way you're already in abundance it just doesn't feel like it right now you're looking for a career you love and you deserve a career you love you're going to get one don't um take any career that isn't the right one for you don't take up any opportunity just because it's there you can take it out of curiosity but honestly you need something that's really deeply really 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 deeply uh supportive and it's going to be you feeling free in your psychic abilities as well you're probably going to be very psychic in your career yeah you need to be near water um you could i actually see a marine biologist if i haven't mentioned it already that is definitely a big one for this group i'm not sure why but it's for some reason they're just saying just say it and then you guys will know we have descendant which is your sixth and seventh house and this is to do with your attraction relationships and partnerships so you've got your ascendant your rising and then your, your descendant and what I see is you're leaving the past behind. A lot of you guys have been taught and told that you have to go with the crowd. That's for, so far from the truth. Somebody in your family, possibly a grandparent, is very much like you. And you're shedding a lot of their wounds to do with authority and confidence. Okay? And we have series. This kind of reminds me of a scythe that you just like cut stuff. And this, you know, is very scorpionic. So what I see is you're you might be working more of the land or looking into work more of the land if not i see you just clearing the way this feels really good i know it doesn't feel right right now but it is going to get better okay should we get one more card let's get what mm, that's not the right deck okay um you might be getting new neighbors as well maybe okay underneath the deck trust your intuition yep i know it doesn't always feel right but they're just saying go for it i know it's scary trust me i'm literally going through that right now scary scary stuff but it's worth it baby okay garnet ignite your passion tiger's eye overcome your fear this is to do with being autonomous in a relationship i always recommend garnet for those of you in situationships or just in any relationship or connection that you feel like you're taking away your power this gives you your power back because it puts your energy back into your body um kind of like they're showing me a car you know you have that uh, setting on a car where you can change the air going through the car or you can get it from the outside you can get it from the inside that's what they're showing me they're showing me you're changing the way that your energy is circulating around you that's also why a lot of us are changing because our energy is upgrading and a lot of us can't deal with short connections anymore that are just crap like you're literally craving that intimacy in your in your in your oh my God, words in your career and yeah overcome your fears of being passionate in a career oh that rhymed boom done <laughs> so you might also find a partnership with career and i'm hearing yes so for a lot of you guys are saying yes 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 a person who's very attractive like woo love it so thank you so much group number two i love you very much if you'd like to check out my private reading rates all that is down below and i'll speak to you very, very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading and let's see what's going on for you in the month of july so you guys got the card of manifest you've got fear we have agate and we got chrysopress it's so funny that every single card every single crystal card and every single other card has matched up in color like these two are the same color and I guess these two are a little bit but it's really funny because yeah I feel like it matches so perfectly I feel like this is literally just solidifies what's going on for you guys so a lot of the stuff you're going through in the month of July <coughs> is to do with the heart that's why I'm going to keep coughing for this reading but also there's this immense amount of fear around can I manifest what it is that I want to manifest can I actually do it like can I do it yes you can and I'm picking up on Hawaii and Hawaii to me is like this ultimate abundance it's this gentle spiritual energy it's very it's just yeah it's just very abundant so what I feel for a lot of you guys is literally 
just calming yourself as much as possible through this month because you're going through this really big like exit and entering period and you're kind of in the in-between like on the on the verge of, of something new so what I see is you're basically coming into what it actually you really deserve that's why it feels so new and different because you've never had it before you're basically transforming so quickly you're basically doing everything that your parents or possibly your family hasn't done ever before so you will feel a lot of fear you'll feel a lot of judgment from yourself and you will feel naturally like you just want to be in bed which if you can do that definitely do that as well there's a sense of like cocooning and then when you're ready you're just going to go for it it's not going to feel super easy whether that be changing your career job same thing <laughs> career job your relationship your home or even just your relationship to yourself this stuff this stuff is no joke like this is big stuff so yeah i feel like i want to pull a card for this get laser focus plan make sure you've got like a couple of things in place whether that be if you're changing your career make sure you've got a bit of money saved up so you're not panicking so you don't go back to where you used to be because what will happen is you'll just get scared and you'll run away and you'll roll you'll run back to where you normally know okay this change for you in july it's the start of something new. <laughs> my, my house can musical. Okay, so we've got agate. Confidence and purification. This is blue agate. You can get so many different agates. A lot of them, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are like dyed, but like man-made dyed. Okay, so this is associated with the Gemini planet of Mercury. It's lucky for those born during the summer months, which is July. Okay, so agate is a protective stone that helps fortify the body and spirit. It encourages health and enhances positive energy. It, in, <laughs> I don't know what I said. <laughs> it inspires self-confidence and eases stress in times of pressure. Used as a talisman to enhance grace, eloquence and charm. So if you've got an agate necklace, bracelet, wear it. Okay, chrysoprase. So this is the throat, this is the heart. So we have chrysoprase, an apple green stone sometimes likened to the tem tender hue of moonlight. Okay, so this is to do the sign of cancer, ruled by the moon. Chrysoprase offers a purifying and healing influence. It stimulates creativity and the imagination and helps calm the mind. Like other green stones, it's associated with love and is known for promoting optimism, empathy, and emotional balance. So a lot of you guys are needing just this big fucking emotional balance. I'd say just cover yourself in a blanket. Um, take the supplements you need to take. I'm actually hearing vitamin B, so that could be a really good one for you. Um, obviously, I'm not a doctor, so just take it as it resonates. Um, but there's definitely just a fear around manifesting. It's a real big one for you guys. And because you're manifesting what you've been asking for, possibly you asked for this like 10, 20 years ago, because now it's finally manifesting for you, it is in divine timing for you. And I see for a lot of you guys, it's marriage. I actually see marriage. That's why you're having to go through such a big thing. Like you're having to just come away from these old relationships so you can get married. You're basically being asked like, what do you want? What is it you're looking for? Okay, so let's get a couple more cards. Let's see what cards we get. Okay. Creative, I love that. You can do this any way you would like to do it. So whatever you're manifesting or wanting to manifest, oh, I love that, it looks like a little house. That's so cute. So get creative about your safety. Get creative about what that looks like for you. Try new things. You don't have to know the answers right this moment. You actually don't. It's safe for you to play. It's safe for you to be in flow. It's safe for you to try different things. Yeah, you're fully safe to do all these things. Guided. So you're literally guided to be creative about flowing. That's what you're, that's what you're saying. Yeah, vulnerable, love, hi, I love that, I love that card, it looks so cute, there's a little egg, I love eggs, they're just so cute, okay, <sighs> love this, okay, we have whole and we have vulnerable, these two are literally such, it's just perfect, it's like yin and yang, but not, it is yin and yang, but it isn't, it's kind of like, 
you are a whole person, but you also have yin and yang within you. You also have the feminine and the masculine. So you're a whole person, but you have both sides of you. So if something feels like it's not fully manifested yet, it's because it hasn't come to creation yet. You've got the ingredients, you're just deliberately picking them out. So maybe you're looking for a job. So you're looking for all these different applications or you know, you're looking for a home. So you're looking for all these different situations. This month, you will solidify it by, I feel literally like the third week of July. If not, if it's not the right timing for you, it will be um, probably the second month of August, I see. Um, yeah, you're doing everything right. And basically you're looking for a sense of wholeness. You're not always gonna get that from externally, but it does help, it does help. And I'm getting really nervous with these two cards. Vulnerable is a real big one, and it's the color of my shirt. So I love that. So what that's basically saying is like, this is your time of being you. So you're gonna feel a little bit vulnerable because you're basically shedding a lot. So it's okay to feel vulnerable, but you will feel yourself again. Sometimes in journeys, you don't always know what's gonna happen when you arrive. You just gotta trust. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like when you're in a car and the kids say, are we there yet? <laughs> you know, or you're looking at the sat nav and you're kind of like, oh, this is taking like ages, you know? but it sometimes does take a while and the journey is different for every single person. You are gonna meet your tribe at the end of this. So it could be through your career, whatever basically, whatever you are basically expecting from this video, you are gonna get your tribe from that. So it could be a career, it could be a family, it could be a, um, a home, whatever it is, my love, you're looking for your tribe and it is coming. It is, it's just scary because it's different, you know? It's scary because it's different. That's why. It doesn't always mean you're doing something wrong. It's just it's just different. It's kind of like trying new food. It is a gamble. But you are allowed to change. You are allowed to do things differently. Like you don't actually have to have things perfectly. Okay. All right. So I want to get one of these. This is the Essential Oils deck. I love this deck. It's one of my favorites. I'm getting really drawn to that like uh shape of um like a circle and a teardrop and an egg so it's a sense of like creation like coming together I'm, I'm hearing i didn't know i was whole until i met you i didn't know i was here until i met you so you're definitely meeting someone new my throat's really itchy and this person's like letting you be vulnerable to them oh that's so cute okay so we have geranium men's emotions so these are essential oils that you can use that will help you nice cinnamon protects and regulates love that so we have geranium we have grapefruit and we have juniper grapefruit uplifts and detoxifies juniper juniper promotes self-acceptance and defeats fear these are all very very good do i have my book no okay i was going to read from the book but i don't have it with me okay so with geranium with the men's emotions that's the biggest one for this group um, you are going through a lot of inner child stuff. You are going through a big change. You've just got to keep going. Like you're not going to be, it's not going to end up the way you think it is. I think your inner child is so scared because, okay, it's basically like, okay, what I'm being shown is, I love this. this they're showing me so many things. They're showing me, they say, tell them the two things you're seeing. So what I see is that you are going through a schooling period. So it's kind of like when you I don't, I don't have kids, but they're saying when you drop your kids off at school for the first day of school and they get really scared and they kind of cling to you possibly, that's kind of what your inner child is going through right now. You're clinging, 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 and you just got to go for it. And I don't recommend school because it's corrupt, <laughs> but <laughs> basically it's like you just got to let, let go into this new version of you. It doesn't mean you know exactly what you're doing. You just got to let it guide you because at school you don't know what your next day is going to be like all the time. And it's kind of like they're also showing me a kid and they're showing me a dad, specifically a dad holding a, a little girl's hand. And they're saying, we're gonna go on this roller coaster and she's really scared. And he's like pointing at like the whirly parts of the roller coaster. He's saying, oh look, look. and she's like really crapping herself. <laughs> like she's really scared. But then once she gets on it, she's having the fucking whale of a time. Like she's holding onto the barret, holding onto like the, um, the seat situation. She's like, oh my God, yay. And it's like scary, but it's really fun. 
and she wants to do it again. That's the feeling that it's gonna be. It's like, oh my God, it's the anticip it's anticipation of what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? This is so scary. And then when you actually get to it, you're like, oh my God, this is so fun. This is so fun. It's like leaping, 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 leaping. Yeah, it's that threshold. Humans, we're not very good at the threshold. We like duh or duh. We don't like the middle part where it's like, I have no idea where I'm going. It doesn't help that we're in a crappy society that we have to rely on money. But, you know, we're getting there. It's, it takes time. And I keep seeing yin yang. I keep seeing like this sense of like two shifts happening. And I see two boulders or two, I'm seeing tectonic plates, which is really specific. But I'm hearing one island can't move without the other island moving. So wherever you go, uh, your person will go, whether it be a future partner, whether it be your boss that you're going to be having, whether it be your neighbour. Like, it literally, you're going to move wherever your tribe is. So you're not going to be left on your own. Like, this, these people are going to be with you. Your tribe represents where you are right now. So the people that you've been around represents the version of you. So if you're manifesting a new tribe, a new situation in terms of people, these people will have to be different to the ones you've been around because they're not going to be you anymore. So if you're moving on from these old relationships thinking, I've got to cling on, I've got to cling on, you don't have to cling on. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm getting like a pain in my bone, almost like the bone hurts. I'm hearing like maybe someone like grabbing your wrist, kind of like wanting to hold on. Yeah, you are literally, look at the people around you, whether it's loads of people, whether it's one person, it could even be a therapist. These people represent who you are in this moment if you are letting go of the people around you or you're feeling like you need to let them go it's because new people will be introduced to you and those people will show you who you are in that moment so because it's like a massive sign that you're changing when your environment and your people change around you because your people that you've been around are a representation of the parts of you so if you've always felt insecure and low and trapped you'll be around people who make you feel like that because that's what you feel like you are allowing in so if you are no longer around these people and you're like when am i going to get my man or my woman when am i going to get my job with these people oh that's really weird that is so weird my left foot just got really warm okay i mean it could be stepping into your feminine but i think it means something else i don't know what that means but i got like a massive heat on my left foot that is really random uh, my guides are laughing they're like it's not random we meant to do that um <laughs> But yeah, it's like, that's why when you manifest these new people, it's kind of like, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself, but I've got to get this in your head for some reason. And they're showing me to use my little pointer. So when you manifest the people that you're meant to manifest, when you change, your tribe changes, the reason why you're on your own or feeling very lonely is because your tribe just hasn't arrived yet because you haven't arrived fully into your new version of you. That's why. It's nothing different. It's not like you've done something wrong. It's not like you're missing out. These new people that you're so desperately wanting, they are there. You just haven't moved into that space yet. You're still growing, okay? There's nothing wrong with you. Like, sometimes we're in a space of emptiness because we're still growing. Like, it's kind of like a flower can't fill up an entire plant pot until it keeps growing. Like, it has to grow and it takes time. That's basically what it is. You can't take up space until you've fully grown, basically. Okay. I also see you being intimate with somebody. So if you're wanting intimacy with a partner, um, that is on its way as well. Your creativity is changing. The way you want to receive love is changing. Do you know what? Okay. I feel like I have to whisper this. Like literally your intimacy life is changing so crazily. I see you, if you're single, being with someone physical in the next two months and it's someone brand new. I'm hearing, I don't know who this person is, but you're going to like them. If you're already with somebody and you're really happy with them and you love it and you love them. I see the intimacy changing because you're changing and you're gonna let your person know what you like. I want you to try something new and it could even be something as simple as, I wanna talk before we're intimate. I wanna express myself before I'm intimate with you, even if it's scary, because for some reason, because you're feeling a bit insecure or very vulnerable, you need that preparation time, okay? That's just all I'm gonna say. I'm seeing, um, this is so weird. There's women and they're just staring at me and their eyes are really intense like this. Like really scary. But it's not scary. It's kind of like owls. You know when they like look into the camera, they're so, I love owls, they're so cute. It's kind of like owls when they stare. That's this, these people, this is your tribe that you're attracting. They're just staring at me. 
Yeah, they're just a presence. They're waiting. They're very stand. They're standing very still. They're not moving. They're waiting for you to come to them. Okay, nice. So this is all to do with the preparation of your love reading. So let's see what comes in for love for you guys. I'm hearing my spine is changing. So you literally could have a spine operation or something. You could have, is it spina bifida? I'm not sure. I don't know the word. Sorry, don't quote me. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> But I see your spine changing to do with how you be with your posture. So if your heart is opening, you might want to pull your chest back. If your posture is really bad, you might end up doing some core exercises, which help that spine. I also see you're having more spine. So when you're having more spine, it basically means that you're more grounded. You're more in your body. You're centered. You're just all the things. I see you also being passed like this, like your energy is being passed. So you're going from one tribe to another, whether that tribe was lacking, whether there wasn't really anyone there. It's almost like I'm seeing, okay, this is really random. I'm seeing Harry Potter as a baby. You know when Harry Potter gets like dropped off at the doorstep? This is kind of like what's happening with you, but it's not a bad thing. It's like you're being introduced to your new family. That's what's happening. It's like you're being scooped up and plopped somewhere else, almost like a plant. The plant doesn't care. The plant just wants to be grounded, <laughs> but it's your safety. Your man might also, sorry, man or woman, might also be where you live. They might be your neighbour. They might be a dog walker in your area. They might be your landlord or your roommate. Enough and solitude. I said that really weird. Solitude. Solitude. <coughs> My heart shock was like, hi, wake up. Um... Right, there's a lot of yellow. Basically, it's okay to feel scared. That's just all I'm gonna say. It's okay to feel scared about this new journey. It's okay to not know where you're going. We've got warmth. I love that. That's really nice. What I feel, oh, we've all got voice. I love that. Can we get one more? One more. Trust. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, I love it. I see two people holding hands or linking fingers like this. Something is being linked. You were around people that didn't want to link with you. You were around a lot of people who didn't accept you. I'm seeing you with like an identification card and it's almost like, you know, when you're showing like someone your ID or you're showing someone a passport, you're kind of like, kind of nervous. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but they're showing me like I'm kind of nervous anticipation. It's like, am I going to be accepted or not to get this alcohol or to get this holiday? I don't know. But it's kind of like you're waiting for that acceptance and you're offering like a branch and then it's like, oh my God, that's why you're so scared of meeting new people because you don't know if you're going to be accepted or not which is very normal. They're feeling that too. You're not on your own, my love. You're not on your own. Abundance. I love it. I love it. This is great. This is great. I want this. No, I want the original. Okay. Right. Love life for group number three. You're healing your father wound. Your relationship to men as well. Very important for those of you who are in romantic relationships with men as well. Okay. You've been in solitude for long enough now next couple of weeks you're coming out of that slowly but surely feeling kind of scared yes i know but you're coming into like a major abundance major collective abundance so a lot of us are going through this as well do you know what's really funny because it's collective abundance you're going through it and also your tribe is going through it too and also your future partner if you're single so you are all going for abundance so it's not that you are going to be accepted by the people you're around it's like you're literally meant to meet these people and they're meant to accept you that's because they love you so much like they love you so much and you're going to be scared you're going to be like when are you when when's the ball going to drop when's conflict going to happen it's not going to happen haha <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> five of wands you guys are very scared of conflict i'm seeing like an alligator and it's moving slowly through the water you're kind of waiting for someone to be like nope you're not my friend. Nope, you're not my partner. No, it's more about you are my partner. Tell me more about this person. I definitely feel some of you guys are going to be in a relationship. If you're not, um, your journey this month is all to do with figuring out how much uh, you want to go deep into your self-love journey, basically. Like, what would you like to do to make you feel more comfortable? You're going to try new practices, I feel. Queen of Swords. So you, if you meet new people, which I do feel a lot of you are going to, especially tribe people, um, you're going to be just slowly guided by them. You can trust them. Okay. You'll know this is the right people. They're very open and inviting. And you could meet through career or you could meet where you invest your money in, basically. So it could be a home. It could be a career. It could even be a dating subscription, like where you put your money into it. 
that sun card came out and then it like scooted into the into the deck and we got the nine of cups okay so i want to i want to see more about this person but i feel like they're very hidden ten of swords you might not need to you might you might not be allowed to know about this new person coming in those who in a relationship i don't really see anything happening i'm seeing like kind of silence um the only thing i'm seeing is a color pink and your heart chakra so there's a lot to do with um accepting more love in from your partner and wanting to spend more time with them if you want to express that don't be scared of that and also i see you just doing something for your inner child both of you are a bit serious you need to do something fun they actually want me to whip out the dice for this so i'm going to do that so let me just whip out my dice i have a little box here you're the first group that actually got the dice so that's special you guys are very special keep getting harry potter you're like the odd one out you've always felt very different you've always felt very different okay the color red is really around your future partner so that's going to be a massive confirmation they're probably going to be wearing maroon red they could be wearing a red crystal something like that okay show me um how they're going to manifest this person if it's going to be this month aquarius fifth house um and then we have the south node what's the opposite to aquarius leo that makes sense leo fifth house right okay so that makes sense getting yourself out there because i hate saying that <laughs> it's so repetitive everyone says it getting yourself out there in a very vulnerable space i'm seeing someone like guiding you this way this way this way kind of like those little paddles they use in the plane they're saying this way this way this way that's going to be how you meet your tribe. I do feel your tribe is 100% coming this month. I, I'm feeling it right now. They're Aquarian. So they're probably going to be, don't have to be an Aquarius, but they do have a sense of adventure and real spirituality. Like if you're very spiritual, oh my God, these people are exactly the same as you. They've literally been waiting for you to move, to meet these people, whether it be moving into a new career or whatever. Like you're meeting these people through joy and abundance it doesn't feel very specific it doesn't i don't feel like it's so much career but if career feels abundant to you and it feels really bright and big yes the reason why they're telling me this is very specific the reason why you've been met with so much resistance with people you've been around is because you've been taught that you have to just push through and that's not how you make relationships you've been taught from someone who's probably quite oppressive and manipulative so you could be and this is probably a parent somebody who's very a massive influence on you when you were younger and they taught you to just kind of just just deal with it or like kind of accept the abuse and that's not how you make relationships you should have been taught when to leave or when to wreck or how to recognize abuse but because they were abusive they wouldn't have told you that otherwise they wouldn't have gotten away with all the stuff that they would have gotten away with Oof that stings like a bee sting oh girl it's like a bee sting you don't expect it but it hurts like trauma <laughs> fun okay so we're having a look a little a little look a little look into how you're going to meet him a little bit more it's through travel <laughs> okay it could be a new it's definitely a new environment this is your partner as well your partner's part of this you don't actually have to be specific about how you meet your partner i will say that um your partner's backing you up they're behind you so okay your person you're going to meet them through leading a group abroad leading a group who all have the same goal or being being in a group who all have the same goal and i do see that the people you're around are really fluffy and light they're not like really intense and horrible and uncomfortable this is south node again south node is sag which means the north node would be in who's burped gemini all right that makes sense so you would literally be yeah you're just creating this very very slowly yeah one of your friends could be a gemini or a sag they've got quite big curly hair possibly okay so look at partners I'm looking into tribes a lot in this group Okay, Capricorn, so it could be through work you meet your person. It could also be just through you walking around and like trying something new. But it's not very specific. <laughs> We've got the South Node again, no, the North Node. Okay, so North Node in Capricorn is very positive, it means the South Node would be in Cancer. So you're literally gonna be exiting corruption and um, solitude and like feeling really tight and restricted and going into more of like 
abundance and roundedness and just feeling really safe. Yeah, it feels really good. It feels really good. Nothing too specific about love in this group. I'm really trying to get the, the, the guidance, but they're not really showing me. So I want to get you a card of like advice and then we'll look at your career a little bit. <laughs> this is so simple. Open your heart. I love that. That is the most simplest thing ever. Because it's showing me that you don't have to know exactly how you're going to meet these people. You know? Recall your dreams. If you are basically manifesting people through a sense of needing to have control all the time, your, your friends and these people that you're going to meet are going to be also like that. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to be around people who always need a sense of control. Create your own luck. A lot of heart chakra stuff. You're going to also see them in your dreams as well. Ground yourself. Embrace change. If you're going for a big fat change you need to ground yourself give yourself some hematite smoky quartz anything like that this is phantom quartz but basically embrace the change you're going through my love it is safe for you to change it's safe for you to try new things it's you don't have to do it perfectly i know it feels really gritty and uncomfortable right now but eh, clearing the clutter like literally life is so effing weird like it's so weird i can't even express to you like it is really really weird <laughs> I love this I love this Eros which is literally a relationship I love this eroticism desire and love it I'm hearing the song I just can't get you out of my head by Kylie Minogue I'm literally singing it in my head I love it haha <laughs> oh my god guys you're going to meet your person. They're just not telling me how. They're telling me, like, the situation. Right. Here we go. I'm excited now. Let's not talk about career. Let's just talk about love. <laughs> ah, so excited. Can we get one more? Oh, yes. Yes. Boom. North node. So the more you go towards your north node, yes, it will get easier. Basically, you're balancing out everything. Look at your north node. What is it in? <coughs> what? <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> my heart chakra is doing something, it's making me wheezy in my chest. Some of you guys might have a massive cough, coughing fit before you meet this person, or like literally in front of them, and you're like, sorry, and they're like, why are you apologizing? I'm English. <laughs> English always apologize, and Canadians. <laughs> sorry. Sorry for like literally opening the door for myself. <laughs> it's literally such an English thing. All right. So we've got Eros, Water and Descendant. Descendant is attraction, relationships, partnership. It's your seventh house, okay? First versus your sixth or seventh house. Basically, your connection to yourself is changing. Your person you're going to meet around water. Water, very, very healing. Do it. Hit water will literally bring you to the life that you're needing to do. So like go to the beach, go near water, go near a lake. Whatever you're going to get from the water is what you need at this moment. It could be downloads. It could be a person sits next to you and it's like, oh, what are you reading? Or, you know, they you're sitting down and they walk in their dog and their dog goes past you and you're like, oh my God, that's such a cute dog. And you start talking. Literally, you are ready. You are so ready. Stop thinking about the technical aspects. This feeling feels good. It's like a birthday present you never thought was, was coming. Hmm. We've got retrograde, psychic, intuition with Pisces, and we've got Chiron. You are literally being taught and guided how to use your intuition right now. Literally, it's this potential through pain, core wounds, vulnerability. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Yay. Hallelujah. Okay, <laughs> let's look at career. Career is like kind of non-existent for you guys. Not to say that it's like you're not going to get anything, but love is much more prominent this month. There's a lot more stuff around relationships this month in the groups. Okay, my camera cut me off. Basically what I see, when you see a seed, right, you think, Ugh, how's that going to turn to a tree? Boom. A year later, you got a tree. That is this situation. I see an opportunity that feels very, very small. And you're like, meh, I'll try it. Meh, whatever that's the opportunity that's going to really bring you to where you're going. I see you networking and I see you being around people, putting yourself out there in a way that feels more comfortable to you. You're not forcing it. It's kind of like you're, you're thinking, oh, I don't really want to do that. Then don't. Oh, I don't really want to do that. Don't. Like literally do what feels right for you. That is, oh God, this is so perfect. You're doing all the right stuff, literally. Coming out of a crisis and feeling like crap, feeling like you have to hold everything by yourself 
and you're meeting somebody in your career who gives you this really nice yummy opportunity I see you if you if you like to sell stuff I see you selling stuff in a shop that gives you much more opportunity this is really really beautiful this is just guys this is so good this is so good look at this so career, the reason why I say career isn't like a massive deal is because, which is funny because this is all a massive deal in these cards, it's because it's like not about career for you. It is, but it isn't. The thing you're actually seeking is a feeling rather than the thing. You are going to get the thing and you're not going to be resistant to it. Whatever it is, it's through travel and it changes you. Can you see that? The travel changes you. We've got the two of wands and the tower. Let's get one more. I see the sun like rising. <laughs> They're showing me the baby sun from Teletubbies. It's like so unexpectedly happy. Got the hermit. So he goes from the two of wands to the tower to the hermit. Let's get one more. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a really nice card to end on. Why do I keep seeing Teletubbies? I'm hearing everyone has a role. So like, they're all different colours. They're showing me like they're all different colours. They all have like a different personality. Like every colour represents like a different style of person. So you've got like the purple one who's like really like crown chakra. <laughs> and then you've got the yellow one who's like really solar plexus. <laughs> I don't know. But what I'm seeing is you travel and you're scared and you feel like, ah, I'm in my like hermit zone and then boom, a new relationship. I actually can't tell you how this is going to happen. It just happens. Believe in miracles because it's so beautiful. Like this is literally what life's about. It's just going for it. Oh my God, I love this. Let's get a crystal card to end your reading. What's the last thing group number three needs to know. Their special person is on their way. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, we have Amethyst. Hi. You are worth more than people who give you breadcrumbs, okay? Amethyst. Am Guys, I don't make this stuff up. Amethyst is a stone for lovers, creatives, and pioneers. It promotes connectivity, spirituality, passion, and original thought, as well as temperance and sobriety. Kept by the bedside, it invites rest and promotes a peaceful environment. Especially lucky when worn on a Thursday, astrological signs of Aries and Pisces and the month of February. Our iconically purple amethyst, oh, iconically purple, amethyst can fall anywhere from the lightest violet to the deep velvety hue of red wine. Guys, this is beautiful. I love you guys so much. The Queen of Swords, go for it. Have a great time. Like, honestly clear boundaries, independence, honesty, it is all come back to you. I feel like a judgment energy is happening for you. Like, I see a blanket going over or something. It's like a magic trick. You know when they like, get like a magician and they put like an object and a blanket over it and then the blanket's pulled away and there's nothing there. And then they put it back down and it's replaced with something else. That's that. It's like you can't really explain it if you're not the magician. <laughs> but you just know that it happened. <laughs> That's how you meet these people and this situation, this career is definitely changing for you. One thing I will say is you've literally just got to like offer yourself in areas. That's what I see. If you like the vibe of a situation, whether it be a promotional offer, whatever it is, the opportunity is going to be in front of you. You might not even have to like go out and seek it. I see like literally the opportunity is just going to like plop in your lap, like literally. It's going to be literally like this is the opportunity. It's going to be like right here. And you get to decide, can you see that? Yeah, you get to decide like what you do with it. So you possibly like say like, oh, this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. And then the opportunity is like, hi. And it's up to you whether you take it or not. There's no ties to, to July. July is very creative and kind of sporadic. So one day is gonna be like, oh, nothing's happening. And then the next day it's like, everything's happening. Expect miracles. Have a great day. Rates and Crystal Shop, well, rates, are below my crystal shop is kind of in hermit mode right now but my rates are down below <laughs> if you'd like to get a reading from me all that information is down below thank you so much for watching i love you and appreciate you and i'll speak to you very very soon bye